Hi, Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And I am going to, to show you how to make these really fun and whimsical cards using the two bundles that are currently in the Celebrations um, catalog. This is the Magical Day Bundle. It comes with these wonderful stamps as well as some really cool framelits to cut out dragons, mermaids, unicorns, wizards, and a, and, um, a knight in shining armor. We are going to use our um, unicorn uh, framelit as well as the unicorn stamp. We're going to stamp out uh, three unicorns that are going to go um, on top of our wonderful Magical Day DSP that's also available in the catalog. And we're going to place it over a rainbow that, that we're going to create using our sunshine and rainbow bundles. Now this bundle comes with not only all these neat uh, rainbows that you can stamp out, but it comes with these wonderful framelits that you can use to make our rainbow and these neat edgelets to cut out our clouds. So we're going to use both the rainbow um, uh, framelits and these edgelets to cut out our clouds. So to put this together, you're going to need the um, berry burst uh, at, and I'm using my proportional matting chart, and this is available free to you on my um, website. Just go on to free stuff and you can download it for free. Just right click on the image and you can save it to your, to your desktop or to your um, smartphone and then print it out. But we're going to start out with the um, base card at uh, five, five and a half by four and a quarter. We're then going to layer with, with some Bermuda Bay at five and a fourth by four. And then I'm using this beautiful DSP with the, with the wonderful little um, unicorns. And you can kind of see it's got that nice little shimmer and glitter to it. See that? We're going to use that as five and three and, and uh, one fourth. So I'm going to make a couple of these and uh, I'm going to put all that there. Additionally, you are going to need a piece of white, Whisper White cardstock, and this is going to be cut at the, um, this is going to be cut at the same uh, dimensions as our DSP. And this is how we're going to go ahead and cut our clouds. So you're going to need a piece of that. And I believe I have a couple of these over here. So you're going to need those. Um, you're also going to need this wonderful glimmer paper. Now this glimmer paper is available in the, um, I believe it's the celebrations. Uh, or rather, uh, you get Glimmer Paper Assortment Pack in the Celebrations and you get Myths and Magic's Glimmer Paper. And this is the Glimmer Paper that I'm going to use to make our, um, our wonderful little uh, rainbow. And it's got some, some of the white Glimmer Paper that you're going to need, need to also cut out our clouds that are going to go in the background as well as part of our rainbow. Now the way that you want to cut out your the rainbow, and I'm just going to give you this tip, is um, I had an extra piece of this uh, beautiful blushing uh, bride or pink glimmer paper that was um, retired, but it was from one of the older catalogs that I added to my uh, rainbow. But I basically took each one of my pieces of glimmer paper and I cut every size for my rainbow. And then I put it all together in this little container here so that I can make a couple of rainbows all at once. It saves you a little time and I always like to kind of have these extra things off on the side. If I'm going to be cutting something, might as well just cut it all um, and uh, keep it for when you need to make a card. So that's kind of your, your quick tip. Um, I will be cutting out a couple of, uh, of these clouds out of this white piece, so I'm going to put this aside. 
but um, uh, I think I have most of my rainbow already cut out to save us some time. So, um, having said all that, uh, you're going to need some memento ink because we're going to stamp our uh, unicorn and here I have it stamped right here and I've already started coloring it so that will save us a little bit of time and uh, um, you're going to need one of the sentiments from your card and some uh, you're going to need your big shot and um, I think uh, some dimensionals so having said all that let's go ahead and um, and get started so I'm going to put these aside and I'm bringing in my stamping blends because this is how I'm going to color my um, my wonderful little uh, unicorn here. And I've started out with this pink pirouette. This is the lightest of the colors. And I'm just going to come in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. This is my base color. Okay, so there you have it. I just wanted to show that what I did over here, just to give it a little bit of more interest, is okay. I um, blended my colors opposite ways. I put the dark up at this top for for the um, berry burst, and I put the Bermuda Bay at the bottom. So that way you have the dark color kind of um, going um, kind of alternating to give it a little bit more a little bit more interest. Just a little just a little something that um, that I wanted to show you. Okay so let's go ahead and move out and um, let me move all my uh, stamping blends and put them aside because I'm going to bring my big shot into view and we're going to go ahead and cut my using my magnetic platform I'm going to go ahead and cut my little and this fits perfectly right here Okay, so there are my, there are my little The next thing I want to cut, since I have my big shot out, let me make sure I've got this all the way out so you can see this, is that I want to take my um, white glimmer paper and let me see, I think I'm going to
and I'm going to cut a cloud, a couple of clouds out. We're going to cut this cloud here. Okay, so I have my clouds cut, and now I have my uniform, unicorn cut um, package, and I'm going to take out my framelits for my uh, these. Okay, so you can see right here, I've cut, I've used this one here to cut that. And then I've used this one to cut that. So we're going to take our cardstock and we're going to cut um, for our first card. We're just going to lay this here. And I basically want this corner right here to be big enough that I can put this sentiment right here. So it doesn't need to be any bigger than that. Let me turn it this way. So it doesn't need to be any bigger than that. I kind of like it at an angle. There's my sentiment. It's going to go right there. So that's about, that's how I'm judging the size of this piece here. So let's go ahead and cut that. Okay, so this is going to be the piece that's going to go right here, okay, on my card. So that's done. Next piece we're going to cut is the background to that, which I now want to take this card, this card um, piece, and I'm going to grab this cloud and we're going to cut, I'm just going to use the same piece, I'll lay it right here and we're going to cut this piece. Okay, so now I have this piece that's going in the back, then I have this piece that's going into the front and I can take this little piece off there and that's where my sentiment's going to go and it fits perfectly on my on my DSP. Okay, so um, let me put that and cut the other two out as well. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to get out our uh, memento and we're going to stamp using this one. We're just going to go ahead and stamp our um, sentiment. And let me just get a piece of scrap paper here. And there we go. You are one of a kind. I want to build my uh, rainbows. And the way I'm going to build my rainbows is I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White and I'm just going to use the pieces that I already have cut. Okay. I'll take out all my pieces and parts here for what I already have cut for my rainbows. We're just going to start lining up um, colors because they will fit very nicely inside of each other.
right, there you go. I've matched up my rainbows. So now that I've matched them up, I'm going to take and individually, I'm going to get some Tombow glue. And this has been the this is the easiest way I know to do this because if you used the uh, adhesive strips, you can't slide these things around, and you need to kind of slide them in, get them in there. going to be a little sticky, but just go ahead and line them up. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one off right here and let it dry. That rainbow is done. I'll flip this over. My fingers are a little... See that? This fits perfectly right in there. So I think which one is it? Oh yeah. So I'm just going to cut this right here. And I'm going to put that little cloud is going to go. take this piece right here look at that and cut that off and that little piece fits perfectly right there okay so using your um, your glimmer paper these little pieces right here fit perfectly inside inside your um, let me show you. Let me show you again. So I'm going to take this piece right here that's inside my glimmer paper that I made when I cut all my pieces and parts and it's going to fit perfectly right in our rainbow right here. Look at that. There you go. So I'm going to let these dry because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut them out. So let me put these off so they can dry.
so now we're going to take our rainbow and it's dry now. We, we glued that on our on our um, cardstock. So now I'm just simply going to <clears throat> I'm going to cut this out. And there you go. Not bad. There's our rainbow. So we're going to put our rainbow right there. And we're going to put this piece right here. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> glue our rainbow in place. And I'm just going to lift this up and I'm just going to put some So there is this. So now um, I like to kind of trim a little bit of this extra white off of my, I think that's actually So now, um, a 
completed the cards. So let's go ahead and glue them onto the backs of our base card. And I'm just going to use some Tombow glue. Okay, for the last piece that we're going to do with this card is to take a little bit of our Wink of Stella and we're going to put some Wink of Stella on our I think my Wink of Stella. So here's my Wink of Stella. I'm getting a new one out. If you've never done this before, the way you do it is you take off this ring right here and you put it back in so that the plunger goes down into the your Wink of Stella and then your your stuff, your Stella glitter comes out. And you can see it kind of coming out through into the plunger. And that's what we want. So there you go. So there you go. Um, three cards using our um, magical day and our sunshine and rainbows to make a very whimsical a fun card um, for all ages at um, from um, the occasions catalog. I hope this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please go to my blog at stampartconnection.com for all the measurements and information about how to um, the details and, and products for how to make these cards. And uh, if you're there, you can shop for them on my online store. Uh, please like this video. This is Kat Chancellor, Stamp Art Connection. Have a great day.